For the first time in four years, the presidents of AU College Republicans and AU College Democrats have come together to discuss the issues. The debate focused on issues affecting the millennial generation. Both sides presented extensive policy proposals that deal with college affordability as well as the future of social security and health care. So the idea uh, is obviously the overall theme is for generational equity. It's you know, what are the huge policies and huge different issues that people aren't willing to tackle downtown in actual Congress that we can come together, help against the Democrats, and try to tackle ourselves. That's the major theme for what this debate was. Um, the overall theme for the debate um, was essentially talking about these issues that affect our generation. You know, they, they seem like they're far away, such as Social Security, as well as health care. You know, you know, we think we're invincible, we're young people, but in, in actuality, they, you know, they're very, uh, they're impending. We asked two members of the college Republicans and two members of the college Democrats what they thought about the debate. I thought the debate was great. Um, I believe that both sides definitely presented a very comprehensive uh, understanding of the issues. One thing I was really surprised and that I'm going to take away from this debate is uh, there was, while there was a lot of disagreement because it was things like social security and health care, there was a lot of room for agreement. Um, and further bipartisan work. So I think the debate displayed bipartisanship at its best, especially when they touched on um, health care and social security, which are very important to us college kids. I am concerned sometimes that we rely too much on government for solutions, particularly the federal government. Uh, I think it'd be good uh, to see some bipartisanship, see the Dems come over and say, yeah, we think some state-based solutions would be good, individual solutions would be good. Both presidents will now sit down and put together a bipartisan plan to address all these issues. For ATV News, I'm Eric Higgins.